And the end of September usually marks when the FBI issues a report on last year's crime stats. However, changes to how those numbers are collected means a report could just be an estimation instead of a hard look at where Indianapolis and Indiana stand as a whole. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid is in our newsroom to explain why having accurate numbers is important and what it means when data is flawed. To many families in Indianapolis, murder is more than just a statistic on a monthly report. In Indianapolis, the numbers show violent crime is down compared to a year ago. Homicides are off by about 17 percent. Non-fatal shooting incidents are down by about 12 percent. Crime stats are important because they help determine public safety policies where anti-crime money will be spent, even who will be elected to lead the city. But the FBI has changed the way it collects data. And of the 18,000 police agencies across the country, 40% failed to report their 2021 numbers to Washington. And it was about one out of three from Indiana that did, meaning Indiana crime stats likely won't be included in the FBI report. You want to know how many aggravated assaults, murders, and stuff that happen statewide? I cannot provide you those statistics from a state agency. And still to this date, we cannot do that. It's been more than two months now since Gregory Stewart was shot to death in the 3100 block of Browse Avenue, and his sister still can't get over it. Every day, it's like, I want to call Greg, or I just want to pull up on Greg. Like, it's just something that I normally do. I can't just do that. I got to go look at dirt and talk to him. Even though homicides are way down in Indianapolis, for the last two years, October has been the city's most murderous month. And while IMPD is tracking down more trigger pullers and wanted suspects, officers will have to buck that trend to keep next month from exploding the stats, which have already claimed one woman's little brother in a neighborhood where she says people know what happened but won't talk about it. Because the area that they in is dangerous and it's kind of like a cold thing living the way we was brought up. But if that don't change, won't nothing ever change. We, none of us will get justice for our family members. The reason those IMPD numbers never make it to the FBI is the IMPD computers don't talk to the state police computers. That's why those statistics never make it to Washington. In Hallville, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News.